David Dobrik is facing criticism once again after fellow Vlog Squad member Jeff Wittick accused him of putting his life on the line during a series of pranks that just went way too far. Let's get into it. Vlog Squad fans are definitely familiar with Jeff. He's been making videos with David Dobrik and his crew for a couple of years and has his own massive YouTube channel with almost 3 million subscribers. Jeff is known for his show, Jeff's Barbershop, where he's had on guests like Addison Rae, Dixie D'Amelio, the Dolan twins, and more. Fans know that Jeff started working as a barber when he was only 16, so this show is perfect for him. But last week, Jeff revealed he would be sharing a new docuseries called Don't Try This at Home on his channel with the truth about his accident. If you've been keeping up with Jeff over the past year, you've seen that his face was bruised and bandaged up last summer, but he never revealed the truth about what happened. Hey, what happened to you? I fell off a building. I was in a skydiving accident. <laughs> Now, Jeff is finally getting real about his accident with fans in his new docuseries, and he is not holding back. The reason I've been keeping all this stuff secret is not because I'm suing anybody. Legally, I can't get into what happened. My lawyers told me not to speak on it, China. It's not because I was covering for anybody or I signed an NDA. Instead, Jeff said that he just joked about it up until this point because that's how he coped with the pain. In the first episode of the series, Jeff talked about his upbringing in Staten Island and spoke about meeting David Dobrik for the first time. He explained that he didn't intend to start vlogging with David, but one thing led to another and his career kind of took off. Episode one of the docuseries didn't get into the accident, but episode two called How I Broke my face laid out the entire story. At the beginning of the episode, Jeff revealed that David wanted to do some sort of stunt video as their first video back after the COVID lockdowns, because as fans know, David still hasn't posted a formal vlog in a year. The first vlog was going to be a series of stunts, including skydiving, because Jeff revealed that David got inspo from fellow YouTuber Devin Supertramp, who's known for his extreme sports and stunt videos. And so David sent Jeff, along with Todd and Natalie, to jump out of an airplane 25 times to get certified. Yep, you heard that right. They had to skydive 25 times and notably, David didn't join them. When the f did we go from agreeing to one jump to 25? And they actually did it. Natalie, Todd, and Jeff spent every day during quarantine jumping out of planes. There were some scary incidents involving wind, but they continued on and eventually headed to Utah to meet up with David and the rest of the vlog squad crew for more stunts. Jeff explained that they all showed up at a lake and they had a tractor there to do a stunt where the tractor would swing them around and around. David was controlling the tractor as they all took turns wakeboarding, but eventually they decided that the vlog squad was there to make funny videos, so they took the stunt to the next level with a rope. Corinna Kopp was the first to hop on the rope and David swung her around with the tractor. He said the shot looked beautiful and kept going, but eventually it went a little too far for Corinna's liking. The thing comes off and it starts falling down and Corinna's like, Oh, what the f put me down put me down she's like you take things too far david Jeff hopped on the rope next, and at first he wasn't super worried because he just jumped out of a plane 25 times. But when David started swinging him around, it went too fast, and things took a very serious turn for the worse. I forgot that the biggest f***ing idiot I know was driving it. Fellow Vlog Squad members looked back on the experience as they all ran into the water to try to help Jeff and get him to a hospital. The whole side of his face is just open. And nobody could do anything to stop it. Jeff ended up having serious facial and skull fractures. Back in June, Jeff shared this post about the accident, writing, Sorry I haven't posted any new pics of the mullet this week. I got in an accident and broke my face and skull in a few places, but I'm okay. I'm more alive than ever. I'll heal up good as new. But in his doc series, Jeff shows the more difficult toll this serious accident took on his mental and physical health. And shortly after the second episode dropped, David Dobrik started trending on Twitter again. Fans know that David has been making headlines recently after a woman alleged she was raped during production on one of his 2018 vlogs that was later posted to David's YouTube channel. David since apologized for the incident, and we covered that in another Clever video that I'll link above for you. And now, fans are calling out David for almost killing Jeff for the sake of a vlog. One person wrote, quote, so when Twitter gonna talk about how David Dobrik permanently disabled his friend, Jeff Wittick, all in the name of content for the vlog, cause I can start that. This fan chimed in writing, I've never felt so angry at a dumb 
influencer before. David Dobrik needs to be stopped. He's always been irresponsible at his friend's expense for YouTube videos. He could have been charged with manslaughter had Jeff been inches closer to the excavator. I'm livid. And this person added, well, it's the fact that David Dobrik never participates in the stunts and lets his friends do it that should be enough to tell you what kind of person he is, regardless of whether he's aware of it or not. But anyway, Jeff Wittick, I'm glad you're alive. We also agree that we're so glad Jeff is alive, and obviously the stunt vlog hasn't seen the light of day on David's channel. David hasn't spoken out on the matter since Jeff's docuseries went live, but he does appear in the videos and interview segments of the show. We'll keep you guys posted if we hear anything else about this or if David speaks out. But for now, if you want more on David Dobrik and all the brands that have dropped him since this year's serious allegations surfaced, click right over here for another Clever News video. And let us know in the comments what you think about all this. Do you think the Vlog Squad's vlogs have gone too far? Do you think that David owes Jeff an apology? Let us know what you think. For now, guys, I'm your host, Carly Henderson, and I'll see you soon.